Now turning to the latest in the vaccine distribution efforts underway all across the country. Our state set to receive the first of what's expected to be many doses of the Pfizer vaccine. Joining us right now once again is State Senator Saud Anwar and also a physician. He serves as the chair of the Department of Internal Medicine at Manchester Memorial and Rockville General Hospitals. Thanks so much for coming back on. We had an issue uh, with it freezing up in the last half hour, but let's get right back to where we were. We were talking about the side effects and it sounds like it's similar to what people see with the flu vaccine can you talk a little bit about that sure so thank you again ashley and, and keith the the side effects are uh, uh not very severe uh, but uh, a significant proportion of the people who will receive the vaccine will have the side effects which include local side effects where they get the shot which is swelling inflammation and and uh, redness and some pain but also the systemic side effects, which include fever, headaches, fatigue symptoms, and some of those. And some 50 or 60% of the patients will get that. But considering the disease itself, it is uh, not a big deal. Doctor, families have really been flooded with all kinds of information as this vaccine development process has been underway. For moms and dads at home around the kitchen table this morning, having that conversation as to whether they will vaccinate themselves or their own children, what's the message to moms and dads who might feel a little uneasy at this point? So I, I think uh, going after reliable sources of information is going to be critical. People have spent their lifetimes learning and working on this. Uh, getting a message from somebody they don't even know, um, a, a snarky thing information that some, sometimes people are putting in, is not really the information from scientists. I can tell you, I have read this, I have seen this, I have seen the disease. I would be in line to get this uh, injection and I would want my family members to get this vaccine. So uh, I can tell you all the people who have studied and looked at the disease think the vaccine is a far better choice than getting the disease. Uh, and as we wait for it to be available to the general public, which we are learning could be a few months at least, what is your advice for people to make sure we still stop the spread of COVID-19? This is critical. We have to stay the course. Please, please, please protect yourselves and, and make sure you don't go out if you don't have to. Wash your hands, cover yourself with a mask, and, and uh, stay away from individuals who have fever. If you have fever, don't go out in public because there is light at the end of the tunnel. We have to stay the course and protect ourselves because we will be able to get vaccinated in, in due time. Doctor, while we have you, I'm curious what you make of the actual logistics that are underway over the course of the last 24 hours to get this vaccine where it needs to go. It, it sounds Herculean. Things need to be kept at very, very cold temperatures. Uh, this is a real science at work here. Well, I, I can tell you our Department of Public Health, if you keep following their website and the conversations and communications, they are doing an excellent job to make sure that it gets to all the places in a safe manner. The, the chain of custody is very well managed uh, from the federal to the state level, and I'm, I'm quite impressed with how we are uh, managing this at this time. All right. Dr. and Senator Saud Anwar, thank you so much for your time this morning, and stay safe. Yeah, Thank you so much. You we'll too. Check back in with the doctor as this all continues to unfold. A reminder, Fox 61, the only station live and local all the way through 11 a.m. Want to give you a feel for what we're working on.